this video is for you if you are somebody who values your alone time. This video is for you if you find yourself craving throughout your day the moment where there's just silence. This video is for you if When you hear the first bird song of the day or the morning, it brings a smile to your face. So this video is for you. If you're here, thanks for being here with me. It's about 6.40 in the morning on a Thursday, November, early in November, 2024 and there's a lot of chaos going on in the world right now. And um, I decided that I could either allow myself to fall into the chaotic energy or do what is my natural state of being, which would be to find the quiet. Um, and I found the quiet. So I came here to my park. I'm now calling it my park. It's the local park in my neighborhood. It's a couple of minutes from drive from my house and about a seven minute walk. And um, there's nobody here. Well, now there's one other person walking their dog, but there's nobody here. It's me and the Santa Ana winds blowing the trees and the sun has risen, but <laughs> a clear sky and lots of hawks flying around and cute little birds. And in about 10 minutes, I have to leave because I'm a school teacher. So I need to head into the chaotic environment of a noisy urban elementary school classroom, which is the complete antithesis of this space right now. But there's some of us who need this peace and quiet every day because it's here where I can just be with myself. And as an autistic ADHD -er, being with myself is the thing that I most need to be. Being with myself is the place that brings me peace. I can mostly understand myself and know who I am and what I need. I don't need to spend a whole lot of time figuring out my needs. And if I do ever come to a place in my mind where things feel more confusing, I just do what I'm doing right now <laughs> and I find the quiet and I figure it out and I don't know why but whenever I'm in this place in this place where there's birds and trees and the natural colors of the world I usually figure it out whatever it is and I just said I don't know why but I <laughs> I think because I'm sitting here I do know why. This, just being in nature, is our natural way of being. This is our natural state of being. To be outdoors with your own thoughts, maybe with a couple of other people in your tribe or your clan, <laughs> um, but not pushing through the day in chaos and misery and stress and traffic, and illness, and headaches. So when I come here, like I know, I know to come here to find my peace. I know that, and if my eyes are darting around, it's because there's blue jays flying around here. <laughs> um, and they really do catch my eye against the backdrop of green and blue and mountains. That's what I'm looking at right now, and it might be hard for you to see, but like back there, from where I can see, you can see the, the mountain tops of the um, mountains that are just to the north of me. Um, anyway, so if I'm distracted, it's because I'm sitting in nature. But, but this is where I find solace and peace, and this is where somebody like me comes to make everything right with my world again. And I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this park here. The last video that I made was about 
why I feel like I don't belong. And it seems like that video resonated with a lot of people. Um, I'm grateful for that because since I found out that I'm neurodivergent last year, I was 54. <laughs> so I lived my whole life like trying to figure out why I didn't fit in anywhere. But um, when I've gotten this huge response from this last video with so many new people popping in to comment and say, I understand you, I get you, thank you for talking about this, that really made me feel good. Because I've struggled for my the whole of my life to find my people. And when you're neurodivergent, you you're you're different. You you think differently and you go about your life differently and you solve problems differently and the world feels differently different. Um, you you process information differently. You have different questions. Everything is different. And it can feel really lonely. Um, so when I got this great response, I understood that I'm not... Although sometimes I feel alone and misunderstood, I know that I'm not really alone and I'm not being misunderstood because you're there understanding me. And it doesn't matter what your race is and it doesn't matter how old you are and it doesn't matter what your political party is what does matter is that we have a certain way that we think and we understand each other and we can empathize with one another and we can be patient with one another now that's not to say that non neurodivergent people can't be that for me or you neurotypical people you can but there's definitely a communication gap in the way that we share our messages and our feelings and our thoughts with one another. So I'd like to talk about that more another time. Um, I'm going to end this video now because I want a few more minutes of just me time in the park before I need to head into the chaos of my job. And there are starting to be some more people walking around here. So um, we'll talk more about this next time. Thanks for being here with me. I'll see you later. Bye.